Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at some advanced features and integrations such as Power BI, calendars. We're also going to be looking at things such as user roles and permissions. To start off with, the first thing we need to do is log into your digital signage solution. Once you've logged in, you'll be directed to the home page. Now that we've logged in and have been directed to our home page, the first thing we're going to do is look at how we can set up new users as well as assign their permissions. From your home page, if you move up to the top right hand corner and then simply click on your name and then move down to admin, this will then ask you to log in again before it directs you to the home page. From the home page, we're going to move over to the left hand side and click on the user tab. We can now see all of our existing users. We can search our users either via email or full name. We can click on advanced search to be able to look at their status, whether they're enabled or disabled, which country they reside in, the account they're associated with, and the date they were created. To make a new user, simply click on the new user tab. You'll now need to enter in the full name, email address, and assign a login name. If you wish to, you can add in the telephone number and the country that the user resides in. When you have finished, simply click on the next button. We can now set the user settings. We can report them inactive or we can audit the user. We can set permissions such as create screen, delete screens, creatives and playlists. We can set screen content as well as allow them to delete devices. We can also give them access to events. The two that I would recommend would be the touch widget, as well as the empty event. The empty event allows them to be able to create a creative and set it as an empty event. This means that if there is a period on your schedule that no content has been scheduled to play, this empty creative would then appear on your screen, thus ensuring that you never have a black screen. Once you have made your choice, simply click on the next button. You can now choose whether to send email for them to reset it, or you can set up the password and give the password to the new user yourself. Once you have made your choice, simply click on the next button. Now we can choose whether to add them to a new account, for example, a new company, or you can add it to an existing account so a digital signage platform that has already been set up for a customer. Once you've made your choice, simply click on the word create. The new user has been set up and they can now log in and start using the new digital signage platform. Now that we've added a new user, we're going to go back to our homepage of the login to the digital signage solution. Simply change to the relevant browser. Now that we've created our new user, what we're going to do is look at a couple of the advanced features within your digital signage solution. So we're going to have a look at calendars and then we're going to look at Microsoft Power BI. So if I start off with the calendar from my homepage, if I click on new creative, I can choose between using an existing template that I can edit or I can start with a blank page. So we're going to use a blank page. On the left are my widgets, and this is how we bring our content in. In the middle is our canvas, and this is what we eventually publish to the digital signage screen. And on the right-hand side are our settings. The settings will change depending on which widget we're currently using. If I start off with a calendar, so my calendar widget is under the advanced, I can either drag it onto my canvas, or if I press it once, it will ask me what kind of calendar I would like to bring in. So I can either bring in a calendar as a API with a URL, a CSV, I can bring in an Outlook calendar, or I can bring in a Google calendar. For this video, I'm gonna go with a Google calendar. So if I click on it once, just off screen, it's asking me to add in the email address that's associated with that calendar. It's then asked me for my password, and then it will ask me whether I wish to proceed. It will then ask me, twice if I want to continue and then it will connect it. 
Now that it's connected, it's asking me which calendar I would like to bring in. So I don't want to bring the holidays in. I just want to bring in my work calendar. I can then click on next and it will now give me a preview of the calendar and we can make some alterations to it. So we can change from either daily, weekly or monthly. Each time we change the view, our options change ever so slightly. But what we can do is set the time frame that we're going to be seeing on the calendar. So if the office isn't open until 8 o'clock, we can have the start time at 8 o'clock. And if most people are left by 6, we can leave it at 6 o'clock. We can choose which day is the first day of the week, whether it's a Sunday or Monday. And this is very much a regional um, option. We can choose between light and dark mode. We can choose a default color. We can choose the font size for the title as well as for the text. And we can also choose the time zone. Once you've made the changes that you wish to, simply then click add to calendar. And it will then populate on your screen. You will notice that we do not have a preview option. Um, but as soon as you publish it, it will start bringing in live data. So as soon as you change your calendar, within a very short period of time, the screen will update with the latest information for you. So I'm just going to save that one. And then I'm just going to come back to my home page. I'm going to put that into the folder. And now we're ready to start to look at the Microsoft Power BI. So now we're going to move up to the dashboard widget. We can drag it onto our canvas or we can simply press it once. It will then open up and we can choose Power BI at the top of the screen and then come down and simply click the add button. Now you'll be asked to sign into your Microsoft account. It will request your email, your password. You will then need to complete any authentication that you have set up for your Microsoft account. Once you've been signed in, you'll be able to choose between reports or dashboard. In this video, we're going to bring in a report. Then all we need to do is choose which workspace, which report and which page we wish to display on our digital signage. When you've finished choosing, simply click on add report. It will now be displayed on your canvas. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video looking at users as well as calendars and Microsoft Power BI.